Okay, I have a Seagate hard drive. It is four phase, and I just got a FAT and a signal generator hooked up to it. So I put it at 60 hertz, applied power. As you see, it doesn't start, give it a little kick start. So you can see over here, 60 hertz. The green is the current. This is the signal generator. This is off that extra phase. So if you jump up 10, now it's 70 hertz, 80, 90. I'm currently running at 8 volts. Okay, here is 110. Okay, you can see a little jitter. I'm going to turn the voltage up to 12. Currently, we're at 12 volt, 1.8 amps coming in. You can see RMS is 2.49 amps, max 5.1. Okay, we're at 160 hertz. See the little jitter on the current. That's as the motor is mechanically catching up with the electrical frequency. You give a little bit better resolution. We're at 220. You can see that jitter better. 250 hertz. If you go too fast, it loses sync. I haven't experimented to find out where all the limits are, like where the best um, duty cycle is. Currently, I'm running 50% duty cycle. It's taking longer for the mechanical to catch up. You can see that jitter. Zoom in a little better. Here's 500 hertz. Again, if you go too fast, it loses sync. Currently, we're at 650. I'm gonna change one hurt at a time. You can see just a little bit of jitter, but it gives it a better chance to keep in sync. We're at 706 hertz. Currently 12 volt, half an amp coming in. I'm gonna ramp it up to 15 volts. That current was looking horrible. I may even want to turn up the duty cycle a little. It's jittering because I'm rolling up the frequency. This number only updates every, I don't know, second or two. Zoom in again. Looks like it wants more voltage. I'm going to 
go to 17 volts. Currently at 950. There's one kilohertz. So the way it works is there is four pulses per revolution. You would take the one kilohertz times 60 and then divide by four to get the RPM. Currently at 17 volts and 600 milliamps. I just jumped 10 hertz and as you can see it wasn't too happy. My fat in the back has a small heat sink. He's probably not happy. You can see right here the fat has avalanche going on. That's this section. There's a peak and then this step. That's the avalanche. 61 volts and the main body is 47 so we're beating up that guy currently 1.15 kilohertz see how warm this thing is got a nice little buzz to it. 17 volts half an amp. Seems like it's having a hard time. I'm only changing one hertz at a time. You can see the jitter. What is 17 volts half an amp? Okay, my limit on my power supply is 20. I just put it at 20. The current limit I got set is 5 amps on the power supply. One point two kilohertz. Those bearings are awesome. rolling 1.27 kilohertz I'm going to slow down let, let the mechanical catch up Three three seven kilohertz. Let it catch back up. It's struggling now. 1.376 kilohertz. Almost went too fast. It's a 1.2 
1.5 kilohertz signal. Looks like the RPM is coming up to that. 20 volt, half an amp. Duty cycle 50%. I'm going to increase the duty cycle. Went to 60%. I want to say that it helped back off to 50% duty cycle. It may have something to do with the four phase motor. 1.550 kilohertz. It's really struggling to accelerate. Running off one phase. It's purring pretty nice, just a little buzz. Oh yeah, that fat heat sink is hot. It's a 37 year old IRF Z44 fat I got back in the early 80s. Comparing to the new IRF Z46, I noticed the avalanche voltage is lower on the old bed, and they blow up a lot easier. On my million RPM stuff, these old fats, they don't take the avalanche repeated very well. One point six kilohertz, twenty volts, point seven amps input current. So I've stopped changing the frequency, and you can see mechanically it's struggling to smooth out. second time I'm probably going faster than I should one point six two coming in the motor is having a tough time getting there I wish my power supply went higher voltage I'm, on this one I'm limited to 20 volts I think that's it. That's the limit for my 20 volt power supply. Six four. 
kilohertz, as you can see mechanically, it's having a connection, 20 volt. The input current is rolling between 0.5 and 0.7 amps. Okay, I'm I'm basically out of time. So I'm just going to roll this thing up and see what happens. That's all she wrote. 1.675 kilohertz is the last.